Hey guys, I'm Danny, and welcome back to the Coral Channel. Um, so I've been kind of asked this a lot recently on social media, so I thought I would make a video about it, um, something that I'm really excited about talking about, um, and it's all about the trends. So the DIY, the D, the DIY trends of 20. Hi. Hi. Do you want to be in the video too? Or are you just parading around to show everybody how beautiful you are? Yeah, we're just doing circles. This video is all about the 2019 DIY trends that I'm really excited about. I'm gonna get started, but I do have a couple um, important announcements that I wanna make before I get into the trends. We are launching season two of Fire DIY, which is going to have new episodes launching in April. I have a lot of really amazing projects that are coming your way. Um, and I know Alexandra has a bunch of home decor tips. The next piece of exciting news is that I collaborated with Coral to create two really special ebooks that came from the projects of Buyer DIY Season 1. I loved these projects so much and I wanted to make sure that they were packaged in a step-by-step -step instructional way. They launched today, which is really exciting, and I've made two books with six projects in each. But if you're not interested in all six projects, you can actually just buy the one-off packages, which are also available on the Etsy and Kindle page. So in support of these two eBooks that are launching, Alexandra wrote an amazing article on thecoralchannel.com about ways to elevate your DIY projects. And um, so she took six of her favorite DIY projects that I made in Buyer DIY season one. And uh, she talks about decor items that you can use to help decorate them or elevate them um, to a whole new level, which are, is amazing. Um, so her article is awesome. So make sure you head over to thecoralchannel.com and read it. I've also linked it for you down below. Another really big piece of exciting news is that I'm going to be launching my own channel this year. Um, please make sure that you go over there and subscribe and support me um, because all there's going to be some really epic new DIY projects coming your way. That is all the exciting news um, to share. So without further ado, let's get into the amazing trends of 2019. First off, I want to kind of touch on the color trends. Now I know this isn't a DIY per se, but I feel like the colors uh, trends wildly control the type of things that you see in the DIY space. I feel like this year we're starting to see like a secret garden meets Alice in Wonderland kind of vibe. Um, so what we're seeing is really beautiful neutral base but it's being popped with these like lovely deep um, natural jewel tones. Like we're getting like mustard yellows, rose golds, burnt oranges, soft blush pinks and teals and like that red kind of terracotta color so those aren't like the primary colors but you're seeing them on top and they're just like elevating a space on a very natural like neutral tone and then on the other side we're seeing this like really drastic um, comparison with bright colors there's these uplifting palettes you know of like bright pinks and yellows and teal blues and um, bright purples they're just like color popping 2019 is not afraid of color and it is coming at us in a really, really big way. So what do you guys think of the color trends of 2019? Are you excited about them? What's your favorite color? Um, do you have a favorite? Um, share those with me down below because I would love to hear what you guys are thinking. I think why I wanted to talk about color is because they're affecting the DIY space in such a big way this year. Um, and the first one mostly is about this whole maximalist movement that's happening happening. We're no longer just creating like a simple accent wall. People are really starting to rethink how this can be done in like a cool and funky wild way. So you know we're painting half the wall, we're doing vertical lines, we're doing horizontal lines, um, you're seeing some geometric shapes going down. We're also painting floors, we're painting ceilings which are amazing and I feel like with this whole like Memphis style trend that's coming back in we're gonna see a lot more DIYs that are incorporating like washi tape on the walls or you know colored uh, tape that's gonna be done in like cool designs. People are rethinking spaces in a colorful way. The next DIY topic trend I want to talk about is vertical gardens. I think 2018 was really full of lots of um, like the urban jungle vibe, but I think we're starting to move away from that and really dictate one space in our home that's going to be the eye catch when it comes to plants. Basically creating one wall that's going to be where you have all your plants. So this vertical garden idea is perfect for that. 
The next trend I wanna talk about is painted tiles. You know, I think a lot of people have been using mosaic tiles on flooring for a very long time, but you know, they're expensive and a lot of people couldn't afford this. So there's this wonderful, cheap alternative way. And it's just by using a stencil and creating these beautiful designs. If your home has like horrible flooring and you're allowed to paint over it, I totally recommend this as a solution. You just have to start with one color and then start to paint the tiles in. Like it's just, it's so easy. So remember that time when cement was like all the craze and everybody was making cement this and cement that? Well, it's back, but it's kind of back with a unique twist. We're starting to see people talk about this whole terrazzo craze. It's basically just like a mix of uh, cement that has metal and or glass in it. Um, you know, we saw this a lot in flooring, um, but people are starting to bring it into kind of design for like tabletops, which kind of leads me to talk about this whole brutalist movement. I think in the last two years, we've seen a lot of vintage and a lot of boho being incorporated into spaces. You know, a lot of people using macrame for everything. Um, so I think we just have these like over textured spaces. So now people are starting to bring back more like of a cold metals and cement just to kind of like balance that out. So I think in 2019, we're going to see a lot more ideas with using metal and using cement. Um, and with that whole terrazzo theme um, to kind of bring it back, but in a really unique way. What? So the next one we're talking about is unique organization. Miss Mary Kondo, thank you so much for the joy that you have brought us. You know, I actually didn't expect to love this series as much as I did. I found it very therapeutic um, to watch, um, but also led to this entire craze of people cleaning up the clutter in their own homes. With that craze, I think, you know, 2019 is going to explore a lot of different ways to organize um, your belongings and items in your home home, moving away from like the container bins and storage bin ideas that are kind of boring and we're going to see a lot more colors and I think textiles that are going to find unique ways to do all of this for us. Which leads to this other thing with everybody getting rid of their clutter. I think we're going to see this like uprise in like thrifted items. People are getting rid of things and then other people then are bringing those items into their home. So the last DIY trend I want to talk about is textile art. With the color trends looking as bright as they are and as cheerful as they are, I think the boho is gonna come back with kind of like a modern vintage twist. We're gonna see a lot of colorful tassel creations on garlands and furniture. We're gonna see leather accents, pom-poms, paper lights, typographical art weaves, and it's really exciting. So those are some of my favorite DIY trends that we're seeing in 2019. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I love talking about the DIY space and the trends that we're seeing in the design space. So if you wanna see more videos like this, let me know. If you know of any uh, DIY trends that you're excited about, share them with me below. Um, I'd love to hear about them um, and see how you guys are going to incorporate them into your DIY projects. And don't forget that there are really two really amazing eBooks um, that are available on the Coral Etsy page and Kindle page. So make sure you go check those out. And that's everything guys. Say goodbye Kenobi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.